I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Stand back. This guy is about to blow. Meet the Colobopsis explodens, a very rare and recently discovered species of ant known for its aptly named exploding power. Also called the yellow goo ant, they're not the only bug that can self-destruct. There's also a species of termite known for its explosive backpacks, but we'll have more on them later. Why do these insects explode? This species of ant lives in the trees of Borneo, an island in the southwest Pacific. For most ants, it's typical that the bigger, stronger members of the colony are its protectors. Not in this case. The smallest ants pack the biggest punch. When the colony is under threat, these ants go on defense. It starts with them sticking their butts in the direction of the enemy. And if that isn't warning enough to back off, they will bite down on the intruder and aim their hindquarters towards them. Then they contract their muscles and flex. The ants squeeze so hard that their abdomens burst open. But the explosion itself isn't as dangerous as you might think. The real damage is done by showering their victim in yellow goo. Scientists say that this secretion surprisingly smells like curry. Wonder if it tastes like it too. Damn, Jimmy, this some serious gourmet. The goo could be fatal to, or at least hinder, attackers. Usually, it's another insect, like a weaver ant, trying to encroach on its turf. Colobopsis explodens sacrifice themselves for the greater good of the colony. By protecting their neighbors, their efforts ensure that the colony can continue to reproduce for generations to come. So noble. Exploding termites found in the rainforests of South America act in a similar way, except their goo is blue. Hey, that rhymes. No more rhymes now, I mean it. Anybody want to be that? These termites are born with sacs on the outside of their bodies. The sacs fill with blue crystals throughout their lifetime. The crystals contain copper, which gives off a fashionable hue. It's the eldest termites who will give their lives for the good of the colony because their external sacs are the most developed. When they are too worn down to forage or nest, they are delegated to be protectors. The explosion is a two-step process. After the big kaboom, the blue crystals have a chance to combine with the termites' salivary gland secretions, or simply put, their spit. This causes a chemical reaction that makes the goo even more toxic to an intruder. So, if we wanted to be official, what's the scientific term for these bugs' self-destructive behavior? It's called autothesis. It's a defense mechanism whereby an animal ruptures their own body to release a repelling secretion onto its enemy. It's a pretty intense and rare form of protecting a colony. Scientists think that it's a method of defense that has adapted over time. For example, some termites will explode to block tunnels or will shoot poop in the direction of an attacker. The adaptation of rupturing and using a chemical reaction to deter the enemy is in line with the behavior of these bugs. Even some species of bee will sacrifice themselves by losing their stinger or biting until they die. But nothing is quite like inflicting a deadly explosion onto your enemy. It's the most dramatic way to go, really. I'm If you're dying to learn more about ants and termites, no need to sacrifice yourself. Check out our videos about why termites lick their queens to death. Or meet the pain-inflicting bull ant and bullet ant. Blowing up their backsides for the greater good of the colony is what these selfless insects do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.